Jim 31036CW. Uh, it is a 12 lead car wash motor. You do need to use all 12 leads when installing this motor. Uh, the wiring diagram is depicted on the nameplate and inside the junction box cap. And we are going to be wiring it for double delta low voltage. We're going to start with the first pairing, which is going to be T1, T12, T7, and T6. T1, T12, T7, and T6. You're going to want to twist these in a clockwise fashion, or if you can use split bolts and terminal rings. Terminal rings are preferred. The next pairing is going to be T2, T10, T8, and T4. So here's T10, T2, T8, and T4. Again, twist these clockwise. And the last one, last pairing is T3, T11, T9, and T5. 3, 11, 9, and 5. It does not matter which phase goes to which pairing, uh, but it will affect the orientation of the rotation of the rotor. So. It's going, if it's rotating the wrong direction, just have to switch two leads and it'll look corrected for it. Uh, if, on the older motors, if the, um, when you're replacing them, sometimes the uh, nameplates and junction boxes aren't, re aren't uh, legible. So you can also find our information on electromotors.com under the technical page.